Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'll buy total book our MP4 Chilubi to briefly speak to the harassment um, our father that, uh, from Chawama, uh, you know, from Regina Passas Parish, um, Father Anthony, uh, who spoke and criticized on the manner and delivery of message by the president where you're using graphs and diagrams, yet you are speaking to a mass audience. In a horde of attacks from you as a community activist, you are now a leader, and you are a member of the Catholic. What do you say about these unwarranted attacks? And is it the first time the church has spoken? Well, uh, I think we find give a lot of examples where the church has spoken. The church through pastoral letters and many other. I think he, Father Koma Koma, to that effect, has even compiled a book of pastoral letters ranging from 1963 to date, uh, to maybe to, to 90s. Uh, when we look at that, I think the prelates uh, coming from different kinds, they may be from different orders, are trained to deal with issues of social justice. And if they are trained to deal with issues of social justice, economic justice is also one of those issues. And the Catholics have what they call uh, uh, social gospel. And the social gospel in this case is anchored on the teaching, the social teachings of the Catholic Church, which among them have got 10 principles. And I think when we look at uh, the people that have been commenting on the father's sermon, it's out of ignorance. Because the father was not away from, and actually that is even back to biblically, the, the, the social teachings of the church are back to biblically. Because before we go to what we, we talk about as heaven, we pass through earth. And the physiological needs are the ones which are making people to commit different crimes. Some of them are going into child prostitution and many other factors because the physiological needs have not been attended to. So the father's meeting point with the state, the, ch the relationship between the state and the church is an issue of is the state providing the services that are helping the human beings to live a whole life so that while they are on earth, they may not be tempted to do things that are, and it's simple as that. And then within the parameters of what Father Anton preached is on solid ground according to his vocation. And those that are trying to demonize him, they would have demonized a lot of people that were in support of the UPND message then. And what, what, what difference does it make that Father Salangeta was just talking about trickle-down effect of the economy? He talked about the economy is not about graphs, it's about food. The president, that is his message. When he was voted uh, in Hilo Stadium, it said no longer then will a Zambian retire to bed on an empty stomach. As far as I'm a president, I will not allow such a situation. He said the, the, the Zambians now will be eating three meals. That is the, uh, the breakfast, lunch, and supper. So far that Salangeta was just buying into what the president provided. So he was talking about eating. So literally eating cannot cost. He said Rutoshi, that he used Bemba. So the president said breakfast, lunch, and supper. So what's the difference? Elephants are given. Yes. So when we talk about that, I think what San uh, Father Sarangeta was just inviting the president to is uh, to actualize his vision as he talked, as he prays to the people. What Father Sarangeta is talking about is to arrest, instead of arresting Karimi and others, is to arrest the price index uh, that has gone so high. And I think, uh, having said that, I would like also to provide just a bit of alternative. The president said, let them give me an alternative on NAPSA. I have provided 20%. Our own money, sir. <laughs> it's our own money. It's our own saving. And actually, NAPSA was meant is a social security fund, which should cushion you when you're old. So when we talk about NAPSA, me, my alternative was coming from PF, would have been that the president should release the money for contractors and the, and the, and the, and, 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 and the uh, suppliers. That would be better than the 11 billion that NAPSA is targeting. Because that will make more 
have value and it will circulate more liquid and disposable income in the country as opposed to what NAPSA. NAPSA is a limited uh, you know, initiative because it only serves those that are on payroll and the others. That is what captures. But when it comes to releasing funds for contractors and suppliers, it is more to do with the informal sector, which is the largest sector, unfortunately, in the country and the, the private sector. So it means that a lot of people will benefit more if you release the money for, for suppliers and, and contractors. And as opposed to what he's talking about. And I think by and large, the president should desist from portraying himself as a savior and insulting the other presidents that have ruled this country. Where he says the best guy goes to Unza and CPU is welcomed and so forth and the like and so forth. But he goes to, to, to buildings uh, in, in, in summary, sir. He is going to buildings which others have built. Mm. What we expected is that he, when he goes there, mm. well, if he goes to Unza, he should not just go into a room which was occupying. He should finish what we left. Mm. We left and finished building there. Government is on ongoing concern. And this invitation to ministers who have been at Unza, unfortunately those invited, none of them could do come forward as, as to say are you occupied which room now when we look at uh, such that is the discriminatory approach which is against the spirit of the constitution because uh, if these ministers are four or seven that have been to Unza and then you renovate uh, four you leave the water reticulation problem uh, the water problem that is at Unza there is proper uh, serious sanitation problem at Unza over bed space the PF had facilitated from the time that uh, Levi Marawasa built those which are called levy hostels now from that time it's just the pf that has added those other hostels which are not yet finished and i'm sure if the pf continued they would have finished he cannot go to hunza and start celebrating over a 570 uh, quarter and then he praises that that will cushion because that is going to be swallowed because those young people are adults who are feeding who needs clothes and other physiological needs who cannot fit in the same money that has been provided by the way that is even likely to cause a problem because the pf found two 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 two, 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 two what two public universities after they applied their effort they left seven more and they also upgraded other colleges like Nkuruma to university status meaning that Murungushi is waiting Nkuruma is waiting Charimbala is waiting and many more universities are waiting to receive the same allowance he is putting himself under pressure but I can tell that he from the pressures that the president has had so far is stressed the president is fatigued too early so when you talk about that, I think we can only sympathize with him. That, that's why he keeps on mentioning the PF. No, those who want to come back, it is not him that should control. If anything, the greatest opposition is the Zambians, not PF. If this formula that has been made, this script they have written, to have all of us behind bars, it's, uh, even if it succeeds, it will still face Zambians, whom we will not uh, you know, uh, control. And they cannot accommodate all the 19 million plus into the cells. He will still face Zambians at poor. Even if he, he dealt with PF members today, he will face the Zambians that he promised. The three mules. Urutoshi. Urutoshi Yama. It's not about the, the graphs that he has, he has projected. But I think maybe in summary, I would also want to address one issue, which I think even the leader of the opposition, including yourself, the president should learn to embrace that uh, before he started ruling, there is a legal framework and the policy framework which is supposed to follow. Projecting those graphs is dangerous for governance. The graphs that is projecting, if you, you follow Article 92, uh, 2 C, which talks about the president signing treaties, agreements, international treaties and agreements, bringing them to parliament. And if we approve, that's when he can he either uh, ratify or refuse to ratify. When size has done that, that's a uh, that's a, a, a now a, a badge in the hand, not where he projects the you know, then he comes to the nation to say, I have, uh, I have these pledges. That is not true. What is legal is that if he has got anything tangible to talk about, let him come to parliament to be approved. After we approve, let him ratify and see whether those uh, agreements are holding or treaties are holding, not what he's doing. I think I end here. Exclusive.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go